Hello everybody, I hope you are all doing very well and welcome back to another Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis where I am super excited to be bringing you this one today because it's been a little bit of a while since my last video. So I am going to be going through Bitcoin and this Fibonacci channel that we are still within uh, and how it has been respected nicely and what we can be looking at to go over some trades. Um, so yeah, I just want to start off by apologising my inactivity that has obviously been experienced over the last few weeks uh, and that's just, uh, you know, I'm sure you can all appreciate just life in general outside of trading crypto uh you know life goes on and uh, you know just with the family and just going on holidays <laughs> i've been very inactive so apologies for that but i'm sure you can understand why and now we come back over to the charts here and just so you're aware before i went on holiday i closed out of all of my uh, positions so i'm not in any positions still although i got back today i have not rushed into any positions right now until i see a nicer opportunity um yeah just be aware for transparency i'm not in a position right now i closed out of everything but um yeah, just so you're aware, I am actually now going to be more active. I'm, I'm decided I'm going to just come back more active and just, you know, start trading this more actively again uh, after I believe my all of my personal issues <laughs> uh, are going to be sorted. So, um, yeah, let's, let's go into this. What am I looking at? So, on the smaller term time frame, still with this Fibonacci channel, um, you know, it's really hard because while I'm away on holiday, I just cannot help myself looking at this chart. <laughs> it's... it's um, it's funny, but anyway, here we are obviously looking at our Fibonacci channel. Okay, we have our support and resistance lines. And zooming in a little bit on the chart, <clears throat> we can see price was really bouncing between the 236 and 0 0.5. Okay, 236, 382, 0.5, bouncing between a lot of them. And then you see this morning, you can see how we were obviously more recently, this is over the last uh, few days, where you see rejection from the 0 0.5, rejection from the 0 0.5, rejection from the 0 0.5, rejection from the 0 0.5. What happens the more time a level is tested, the weaker it gets. Okay, then we'll zoom into the five minute chart. I had my eye on this, but I didn't trade it, by the way. But um, <clears throat> you can see how we got rejected 0 0.5, rejected 0 0.5, rejected 618. You can see very, very closely, as you should never look at it at an exact level, but a rejection from the 618 here, okay? Coming back down, finding support on the old resistance, flipping into support. So you see old resistance here, flips into support. So you move up, get rejected, move down, find some support on the old resistance. Price moves up again through the 618 onto the 786 resistance, okay? Price gets rejected from the 786 resistance, come back, comes back down onto the golden pocket, finds support along the golden pocket, and now we are moving back up, okay? And you can see higher low, higher low, higher low, price is moving up in A. Although the horizontal resistance is not perfect, I'll be honest with you in kind of an ascending triangle okay if you try and line this up nicely on these resistance levels you can see price very much trying to you know yeah looking bullish okay if you're after a position right now it would be long okay i'm not gonna lie uh bulls have been totally in control of this market really now for the last few months okay I have uh, taken some shorts on this market, but you do want to really be overall looking long as it stands right now. And I'm going to explain why bulls are totally in control. You do want to be careful looking for shorts. Although I am looking for shorts, I am being like hedging, being careful. You don't, you don't want to blindly short at the moment because you have, would have been, um, yeah, lost a, a few trades. I'm not going to lie. So why would have you lost a few trades? OK, there seems to be a new, you know, a new dimension that's going on in crypto currently, cryptocurrency trading right now. And that is after a low is formed, you know, we're, we're forming a low and then prices moving up higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. And we're not seeing this anymore, whether a low is formed, low is taken out and then moving back up. OK, we are just seeing higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. And the lows on a, you know, if you enter on a dip, your positions are very safe on a higher term time frame right now. So you see this on the daily. Let's just explain what I mean. OK, so we form. This is really since around the 7th of February. So OK, so now going on for a few months. <laughs> so really, we form a low here. OK, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, massive breakup, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, uh, you know, breaking up again. So you can just see if you had entered on any single dip over the last two months, over, <laughs> if you had entered on any dip over the last few months, you would not have been stopped out of your positions. So adding on dips, um, you know, not financial advice. This video is not financial advice, but longs are definitely safer. OK, you're looking on the higher term time frames, obviously. Um, and you can just see how, you know, longs are relatively safe um, if you, you know, buy on dips and obviously keep you well with risk management. But as long as you're not buying resistances, because buying resistances um, is actually not quite as a good tactic. 
Okay, you can see buying resistance here, you know, a big drop down. But you, if you heard, you know, buying resistance, not good. But if you buy the dips, okay, where you're looking on a, on a more of a larger term time frame where your support is, then these bottoms have not been taken out. Okay, so the bottom doesn't get taken out. Okay, again, you add on dips bottom's not taken out okay if then you're looking at this as your last line of support now then that's around 4930 you know you could be again you don't want to be buying on resistances really you want to see a drop down or at least a break upwards and then buy a retracement but you know buying on the dips seems to be a safe tactic over the last few months you know that's undeniable really on these on these more macro term time frames um things are definitely looking um not getting carried away bullish but obviously you know buying dips is a good tactic uh okay so I just want to, you know, now bring your attention to a few resistance levels that I'm looking at. You can you can take the, this with a pinch of salt, this Elliott wave count that I have going on right here. But this is just a one, two, making the third still for a four to come down up to a, a fifth. This is kind of, um, don't pay too much attention to this Elliott wave count because I have a few different going on that I'll cover in another video. But this is something that I'm just aware of that seems to be like the most possible, you know, likely right now that we get the third, fourth, fifth. Where am I, where am I taking my fibs from from the moment? I'll show you. I'm taking my fib from this resistance. You know, you, yes, there's a, obviously you can take it from the 7th of November high, but I like taking it at the moment from this one on the, what is this, on the 4th of September? Because, it, you know, it's, it seems to be more of a uh, influential pivot point, okay? So when we're taking it from the pivot point and the 4th of, Dece 4th of September down to our low, obviously, what was this, on the 15th of December? OK, you can actually see here how price was, you know, really rejected by the 236, 236. Then we found support on the 382, OK, rejected from the 0 0.5. And now we're obviously moving up to the high uh, resistance area of the golden pocket. Yes, I just want to show you just for, you know, you can be obviously if you have taken from this high your FIB levels, then we're through the golden pocket. So if you did take from the 7th of November down to here we have got through the golden pocket okay and that's why you want to be aware that you know you should have a few different ones on your chart obviously if you zoom in here you can see how the golden pocket has now been broken and acted as support for another leg upwards okay but i'm going to remove this one temporarily because i am looking at the other one for where i would take my next you know i um yeah safest option uh, not financial advice again please don't take it as financial advice but the safest option obviously at the moment is a shorts is is longs <laughs> apologies is long positions you know while these higher lows keep happening and while you know price is still moving up with no massive drawdowns so whenever we get a draw you know whenever you get a pullback they're bought up relatively quickly okay you see this really big drawdown it gets bought up quite quickly drawdown you get you get bought up quite quickly you know pullback sorry i'm looking for the wrong definition here when you get a pullback you you know every dip is getting bought up quite quickly okay for the next move upwards so that is definitely a metric to look at you know we're above the 618 right now these these are like bullish signs um but without getting carried away i'm still looking for short positions uh while simultaneously looking for long you know i'm holding zero bias i really do not believe at this level you should be an all-out bull or you should be an all-out bear it just doesn't make sense to to say the um you know it just doesn't make sense to me to be overly bullish or overly bearish at these levels okay you don't want to be overly bullish because we have a massive resistance level overhead and you do not want to be overly bearish because we have been making higher lows now for you know about four months so um yeah, just 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 come to trading with an open mind. And if you are overly bullish or overly bearish right now, then you could get wrecked. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's why I just hold zero bias right now and just playing the chart as it comes daily. Uh, I'm I'm just seeing the next level of resistance right now on this six one eight golden pocket. Okay, we're looking between uh, five thousand. I'm going to say five thousand seven hundred and fifty to six thousand. Really, you could be looking up to seven eight six six thousand five hundred. This is a really big resistance level. Um, you cannot underestimate this. Obviously, it was support throughout two thousand and eighteen. This you would expect. One would expect to uh, you know encounter resistance here. And I do believe that we will either get a heavy rejection at this level, or we will just smash straight through the level, destroy all shorts, and then you know get the possibility of a leg down but if we smash through and uh, smash through these levels and hold it as support then uh, that's extremely bullish okay but yeah taking it one step at a time uh you know i'm still seeing a possible three you know at least getting that three four in before we move up for that fifth um but the, yeah, that's really what I'm looking at now for these next levels of resistances. Anywhere between the golden pocket and a 786, down for the four, up for the fifth. Um, but yeah, th those are the really the main scenarios. Uh, I'm going to be, uh, you know, doing a lot more active the videos. Um, but that is what I foresee happening here. Okay. Um, 
yeah there is some more technical analysis i want to go through but i'm going to keep this one short and sweet today so i think i've been speaking for about 10 minutes or so um but yeah it was more just for an update to show the levels that i'm looking at just letting you know that i'm not in a trade but i will be taking one likely tonight um i, I do want to get into a position now i'm you know now i'm feeling feeling okay in myself and everything so um yeah, I'm eager to get back trading. It's uh, it's one of these things I miss it, but um, you know, it's sometimes needed to just take a little break from things. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm eager to get back trading and scalping this. Obviously, altcoins. Yeah, altcoins. Let's just cover altcoins really quick. They're obviously bleeding out quite heavily. Um, so you know, you're looking. At, yeah, across the board, they're bleeding out quite hard. And this is just because altcoins um, excel when bitcoins when Bitcoin moves sideways. When you get volatility up or down for Bitcoin, then alts do not play well, okay? So you'd want to, you know, for, you know, that this sort of alt season, so to speak, you want to see alt, uh, Bitcoin go sideways, okay? As it had been over the last few months, really, okay? As you saw these extended periods of sideways movements or slightly going up or slightly going down, altcoins excel, okay? But when it is on a upwards trajectory, trajectory, uh, when it's going upwards <laughs> or it's going downwards, uh, altcoins do not excel, as you can see on the charts here. So you, you, you do want to be careful playing Bitcoin pairs at the moment, okay? You know, I am eyeing entries. Uh, I do want to take some altcoin entries 100%, but I am waiting for a little bit of resolution first on, on Bitcoin before I enter some of these positions because I'm telling you now, altcoins, a lot of them are really primed in very nice setups, uh, very, very nice setups, but you don't want to jump the gun really don't want to jump the gun right now you do want to wait for a little bit of um you know confluence uh of bitcoin you know like finding a strong resistance or strong support leveling out a little bit this is like highly volatile area right now on a massive resistance level while making the higher lows um wouldn't be an altcoin buyer right now to be honest i would wait for some more resolution on on bitcoin and that's what i'm doing anyway but um yeah feel free to take that with a pinch of salt but i do think altcoins are probably going to uh, bleed out while we get this volatility on bitcoin um but i am simultaneously looking for a lot of setups right now because i'm yeah eager to get back into the swing of things uh, and just sculpting the moves sculpting 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 uh obviously um yeah that's about all that i wanted to mention in this video so yeah just keep your eye on obviously what we're looking at here this is the resistance this order block from here so we're looking from around um 5,000 yeah it's a big range <laughs> but 5,400 is obviously that would be your next support level if we are to move down okay just see if we can find support off of this old resistance 5,000 say 5,500 okay that would be your next support level okay and then you're looking at resistance of the golden pocket up to the 786 um you know give it a week and let's see what happens um and really you can be you know more worried about your long positions when we break a higher low okay because as you can see the higher lows let me just take off just a second as you can see the higher lows 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 until we break down through a higher low which would be a massive red sign and there's no you know majorly on larger term time frames red signs until that happens you know you would be looking for more shorts at resistances or once you have confirmation of a breakdown okay once you have that confirmation of a breakdown or hitting a major resistance um until then yeah longs are safer in my opinion okay and altcoins are not looking good <laughs> so yeah i will give you some more updates uh, i'm gonna probably like spend a good few hours tonight on the chart um you know going through and actually doing a bigger technical analysis on this i'm just seeing right now that that triangle is a uh, you see this fake out that happened on the triangle well it wasn't so much an, an official triangle but you can see that resistance breaking um and and just you know shooting through resistance and coming back down so that's bearish so this but this is like five minute time frame it doesn't really matter too much on a larger terms time frame it really doesn't matter but you can see this this uh well it hasn't closed out yet 30 seconds but potentially like bearish when you break resistance come back down but so this is a little bit bearish but you know not not overly to be honest we're on the five minute chart it doesn't really matter too much but yeah um that's that's the update that i wanted to give i didn't want to look at the smaller term time frames looking at the larger term time frames really just looking at the 618 really looking down to that you know that 0 0.5 would be your support where you, you could now be playing between the support of the 0 0.5 and the resistance of the 618 that's 5280 up to 5890 okay playing between this region where we could very well uh, you know move sideways before you know consolidate in here before we get our next move to the upside or downside um but i will give you more updates throughout the week as, as i am trading this um so yeah i hope you, you've enjoyed this video so again apologies for my uh, inactiveness but i have just been away and you know on holiday and doing different things <laughs> so um yeah I'm, I'm now back so i am in england right now if you haven't realized but i am in england right now so i am going to be um 
yeah, making some more content for you. I'm, I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I'm just happy to be back. And uh, thank you, everybody, for the support. Um, any last things I wanted to say? No, I do not believe so. I will spend a lot of uh, time this evening and tomorrow going through the charts and identifying my next trade. As again, I'm not in a position right now, but I am eager to take one right now. I'm going to see how this closes, to be honest, actually. <laughs> uh, and I'll be getting into a position. So, yeah, thank you, everybody. I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers. Thank you. And good night. Cheers.